Hey everyone, how's it going today? It is Joe, and today we're going to check out a new map. It is a premium map that just dropped uh, just recently uh, called Reverence. And so, you know, I it's going to be something that is kind of developing over time. It's early access, so keep that in mind. I have no clue what we're walking into. I just read the information. I gave them my $5 because that's what it costs. And I'm not against paying uh, for access to some of these mods. I think the developers deserve it. And, uh, you know, I didn't play the free version, so I'm jumping into the premium version. It is going to be a long haul project. So don't think that you're getting everything right out the door. In fact, it's very, it's barely above the free version currently right now. So I think there's an artifact cave or something extra that's in here that that is worth uh, that $5 at the moment. But over the next 12 to 18 months, according to the information here, it's going to be a whole lot added to this, including some sort of underground network of tunnels and caves and structures. And it looks like a cool idea. Again, I have no clue what we're walking into, but let's monitor this project over the next several months and see where it goes. And hey, if you, if you totally enjoy this and you want to jump in, you know, we can make that determination after this uh, tour if you want to spend $5 on it. So anyways, uh, without uh, further delay, let's just jump into Reverence, the premium early access version. And this video is being recorded on March 30th of 24. So we'll see where it's at today and we'll follow the progress as we go. All right, so it looks like we have a lot of spawns here. So um, I'm gonna just spawn probably at the the default one right now. And then we'll go in creative mode and take a look. So keep in mind, if you're the type of person that enjoys uh, exploring, this may not be for you because there's gonna be spoilers. I warned you already, thanks. All right, first uh, thoughts here, let's see. If I'm done checking out my arm, we can do look around. And a lot of fog at the moment, definitely. Oh boy, yeah, that's not good. I didn't even get a chance to get us into creative mode and I'm gonna get eaten. <laughs> All right, <laughs> right at the last second there. I just got it into creative mode. Man, okay, so this is the easy spawn and uh, spawned in with a bunch of snakes here. So let's take a look at what this map looks like. So as you can see, we don't have a whole lot uncovered, but uh, this easy point seems to be kind of swampy, I guess. We got snakes, uh, parasers, uh, yeah. So that's kind of interesting. I, I, I'm going to keep the fog for right now. We might reduce the fog here in a few minutes after we take a look, but let's, uh, let me get my bearings here. So I'm facing that way. So that must be coast all the way down that way. Um, let's take a look over here. So we'll kind of just do a little, little check out here and see what we got. There's no mods running on this other than the mod map. So what you get when you install the map is what you're going to see here. Uh, one thing too is that according to the information on this uh, on this map here, uh, there's going to be unique underground biomes. We've talked about that. Seven unique artifact caves, three fully custom bosses, uh, new skin and creatures themed to this map. So um, a unique survivor skin, male and female and 16 new caves as well. So this this is an ambitious project for sure. And so we'll see where it goes here, but it looks like straight up here we got we got a little bit of a redwoods starting point here. Let's set down in the redwoods here and we'll kind of kind of do a quick run through. Arno. A 
All right. So we have these bands on trees. Now I see, saw this in Savartalheim as well, but it's blue. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. It might be something that helps them do development. Someone knows what that is. Go and put that in the comments. I'd be curious to know. It does remind me here where I'm at, um, where they're doing development in the uh, forest. They'll spray paint trees that are being chopped down. So I like that. But uh, yeah, not sure what it is otherwise. So let's see here. All right, more redwoods. It's uh, definitely a little sparse here as far as vegetation. It might be the choice of it. Um, just kind of looks unfinished on that, but some of these things are going to be expected when you have an early access uh, map. And I don't know what areas are done or what's been done, but uh, this is it's interesting for sure. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see how that uh, changes. So where are we at on the map right now? So we're uncovering the bottom section here. So we'll see how far we can get up and over here. But uh, yeah, let's see here. Definitely a tough terrain to traverse if you aren't uh, flying. Right here. I wonder, do I need to be landed for this stuff to kind of come in? Uh, no, it just doesn't look like uh, some of the vegetation is put in unless like I said this might be what it's supposed to be like should be able like if you're down on this beach here I don't know it's still I don't know if you can get up that holy cow let me walk for a second here let's see uh, yeah, it's definitely tough terrain. Definitely. That's all right, though. But if you could get up there, it looks like you probably walk up this path here. All right, so let's continue down this beach here. And I want to fly too fast here. It does have a tendency to wig out and crash the game. So if it does crash, we'll come back and and uh, started again. Portable seagulls, because no map's complete without those guys. Uh, parasaurs, and again, very sparse vegetation on here, but this is kind of a beach, but um, yeah, it doesn't, it's not very lush and green here in this area. Be a good place for a base here and have a little bit of water. It's a, kind of a sheer cliff right there. What's up here? Definite uh, floating vegetation. Now, I don't think I've seen a white drop yet, so it's been, I've seen yellow and purple so far. You know, and I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn off the fog here so we can get a little bit better look at this. It's going to be easier than, looks prettier actually without the fog. Got some deep blue in the water. I don't think we were getting that over here and it might have been the fog causing that. Yeah, it was kind of gray actually got a little bit more appreciation for it now that I shut off the fog. Um, let's see here. We had a spino hanging out right here. Yep. And it threw, it's like a canal right there. Go ahead and check that out. It's 
probably even take a raft up this most of the way. It looks like he might might run to issues starting here. What, what do we have down here? Oh, a berry. Piranha. Oh, then we get to kind of some unfinished stuff here, it looks like. Interesting. Lots of saber tooth salmon down there. Uh, be interested to see what this does because this this is kind of cool. That has potential. Take a look here. Grab a pickaxe. I think it's oil. Yep, that's your oil. And metal node. All right, so we're back off here. Yeah, there's definitely some textures that need to be applied out here. Um, some uh, some definite changes probably coming. Uh, we do have a snow biome up here. It's like at the top of the mountain. It's a purple. I don't know what the purple is. Unless, like I said, it, it, it probably has something to do with uh, their development, or it's something to do with the map. Um, a lot of this map is gonna be underground eventually. So, oh, what do we have here? Well, this is kind of cool. Sort of big structure. Oh, what's this? Oh, neat. Is this a cave or is just a walkway? This is cool. This could be a... Oh, wow. Artifact right here. So, the immune is hidden right in here. Oh. Interesting. Well, we found a karch. So I'm guessing Giga's also spawned in this general area. Oh yeah, there's one right here. Made him mad. All right, so. So apparently this did not like me in here. See if uh, my uh, damage meter goes nuts or something, but I was just in here, went in, looking at that immune, I got out of it. And did it again. It's interesting, okay. On right there for now. I don't know why I'm pooping nonstop when I spawn here. Interesting. All right. So let's look at the map and see what we've uncovered so far. This is actually fairly large. Um, so we've kind of gone around over here. So uh that that area is really cool i wish i could explore it more without getting booted out every two seconds um that'd be really cool i like the water features that they are trying to put in we'll kind of just follow this in here cut across the uh map if we can it is uh definitely not appreciating my flying through here Lots of spinos, lots of berries, I'm seeing. We're in kind of a redwoods area.
I kind of like this. This is kind of cool. Nice open, pretty flat areas here to really do some building. Uh, water supplies, of course. It is cold. What's the temperature in this area? Negative three currently, and might have to change the clock here in a few because I don't want to do this at night. There's definitely some things that need to happen with the water. I'm just going to fly around here and see if there's anything that uh, we've missed. But well, we haven't actually been over here, so we've missed it all so far. But, you know, we probably won't dive into where the caves are, if there are caves. I think there's only one anyways right now. Um, just seeing the general layout of the map and then hopefully kind of logging what, what changes over time will be kind of cool because there's definitely uh, textures that are missing, at least right now. But still, this is great. Even even at the current state that's at, even with it uh, kind of kicking you out of that artifact area, it's still worth the $5, in my opinion. I want to keep people motivated to produce this type of content because, you know, unfortunately, it just takes so long to get things going from the official sources. So the more of these premium packages that get put together, uh, the better for all of us players. So maybe we don't get bored with it because if you're like me, I love this game. I love Devolve too. And uh, I just, just ran out of steam on the island. So <laughs> we just started Svartalheim and uh, that's been refreshing and a lot of fun. Ooh, it is glitchy right there. Okay. There's uh, sporadic redwoods. So not sure if thylas are going to spawn on the trees or anything. Again, I still haven't seen like a white drop. Everything's been red, yellow, and purple. But here's green ob. Ooh, it is. Okay, so we hit the top of the world right now. Let's see if there's anything that's uh, available to us. I don't even see a... Oh, yeah, there it is. What do we got? So, it looks like we have the standard bosses. Whether or not they work, I do not know. But, yeah. It's available there. What's this? Obviously, we won't be able to do anything with that. But, might be something going on here. It looks like a door to a missile silo. Again. All right. Oh, a bridge. So, it's definitely got this kind of... Industrial, I don't know really the word here for it because I mean, the dam or wherever those artifacts were kind of looked like this missile there, the silo door, um, looks like this. So it's very apocalyptic or post apocalyptic looking in like uh, ruins, for instance. It's not like uh, medieval or anything like that. Here's a swamp area. Or what I assume will be the swamp area. Kind of sparse at the moment. Uh, is this the same place? No, this is a different one. Any way of getting into it that I have seen yet? Interesting. Oh, wait, wait. So, okay.
This isn't the same one, no. This is a different one. Well, this one kicked me out. I quit flying in here first off. No, this is the same one. Get out of here for a second. Hmm. Just the other side of it. Got it. Okay. I didn't feel like getting uh, kicked out of the game again, so. Got another possible way in. Let's see what this one does. Or if... Oh, look, it's got an artifact right at the door. Interesting. All right, let's go up and over here and see if it does anything else here. Does it look like there was a door there? Could be a cave or an entrance to a cave eventually. Go this way as far as we can. Hello, Mr. Quetzal. There's a green drop. Okay, so there are green ones. There's a whole lot of Quetzals. Rarely find one, let alone three of them together. <laughs> yeah, so we're back to the ocean. Several Rexes right here. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, well, the water is there. It's just the same color as, well, no, the water isn't there. It's here, though. <laughs> I'm guessing this needs to be filled in. All right. But this gives us a really good, good idea and a way to monitor the progress. But uh, I honestly, I don't think it's bad. I think that it's definitely early stage. Um, to what I I don't know if I would have quite. Oh, what's this? Interesting. Glad we did this. Artifact right there. Um, yeah, um, you know, I take that back. So what I was trying to say here is I don't know if I would have offered it up as a, a premium mod yet, but if you're going to follow this project and you want to be, you want it to, uh, take off a $5 purchase price for it isn't that bad. And it keeps people motivated to keep going on it. So, um, and I think even though there's a lot of texture, a lot of things that aren't applied, I think this has great bones as far as uh, turned into something great. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of excited for it. It's definitely a large map. I like it. Uh, I can't wait to see kind of when the ooh, other biomes kind of get flushed out a bit more. But I think it's I think it's going well. Let's go cut across here real quick, up and over the mountains here. So just, okay. Just wanted to see if it was something like a cave entrance or what. There are definitely some spots that I have not hit yet. Um, it's going to, I think that uh, the vast majority you can see from a distance to see if there's anything there, but uh, let's see here. And this is kind of a quick and dirty tour if you ask me. Well, guys, I think that's going to be pretty much sum up our quick and dirty tour of Reverence Premium Early Access. Uh, if you want to help with this project, consider spending your $5 and uh, buying access to the premium version. Otherwise, definitely check out the free one. 
see if it's something you really want to do. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see what happens with this map over the next 12 to 18 months, according to their roadmap. I think it has a lot of potential, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to be below. So those tunnels, I think that's all going to be game-changing. So this has a lot of potential, in my opinion. Looking forward to hopefully one day playing on this one. But anyways, if you enjoyed this, consider liking and subscribing. Leave me a comment if you have any suggestions or, hey, if I miss something here and we need to go back and look at it, because we're going to we're going to do this on a regular basis here I'm gonna keep this server up. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down, and just update it when it's uh, when a new update comes out and we'll go ahead and do another video. So um, but nonetheless, let me know if you need, if I miss something or if there's something I should check out on the next one. And until then, have a good one.